KJY, KJY is here, so I think we're gonna be fucking fine. Anyway, uh, shut up for a second so I can do my stupid introduction. Hello, subscribers and future subscribers, and also Mega Harv subscribers. <laughs> I'm Karma Jolt. I'm here with the Canadian clothesline himself, Mega Harv. Why, hello there. Yeah, okay, good. I expected you to say hi there. And we are about to finish the tag team live stream of Secret of Evermore. So, I don't know if you wanted more ado than this, but sorry, there's not going to be much ado here. Let's get started, like, right freaking now. I don't yep. need to set a timer because we intend to beat this game. Yeah, buckle the fuck up. Yes. Hello, Inked Freddy Fazbear, Gaming and Vlogs with Jonathan, and KJYKJY1969, and Ninja Ninja, and Sean Robinson. Let's do this shit. Okay, last we left off, Harv got me bullets. All for the bazooka. And they don't seem to run out for some reason. Really? I don't know why. Oh, okay, so one of them you have 99 of, and that's not even the maximum. You can have 119, at least, of the cryo blast. Yeah, sure, let's use this. Why am I in this dark area, and what am I doing, I, and where am I going? Uh, just keep going that way. I, I kind of... I forget exactly what I did now, it's been so long, but if you come in here with the lights on, one of these plants will just fucking kill you in one hit. <laughs> but, but when it's dark, you're safe. Okay, but, but which- time, I thought there was more to do, so I'm like, ah, I'm just gonna put him here, and he'll be like, where the fuck do I go? I've got mats, no way. Yes, Ninja Ninja, I agree. It's like the first time ever. I've given you so many elixirs. Whether it's in games you or have. IRL. And I, like, I stabbed you in the back so hard after getting those elixirs. Yes, you named the main character Stairs in our Final Fantasy V playthrough. And I was really thinking about breaking <laughs> up with you. Okay, so <laughs> you said keep going that way. I don't really know which way uh, that way down. is. Go down. To this okay, beam? Robo Doggo. I mean, should I step in this? Too late. I'm doing it. I, I don't think it'll kill you, but you're good. But also it won't help me? That's what the I like stairs, to hear. The stairs thing from Final Fantasy V, what I intended to do was on episode 23 was to rename uh, Butts to LeBron and someone else to <laughs> Jordan and then rename Galef stairs. But by the time it came around, I couldn't find the site I used to like pack the name. So it's like, well, I guess I'm not doing that. Uh, that so would have been sorry. lovely and I super would have appreciated that. Okay, so KJY has already given me advice, which is like the whole purpose of him. That's that. That's what that character does. He tells us <laughs> what to do in streams, and he You're says a use KJY. use call up and get back to A four. I assume I didn't that's like they were numbered until just now. Wait, what? I didn't realize these space stations were numbered. Like how there's the, you're in B3 right now? Didn't notice. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this is B3. Okay, so I'm going to call up. I'm going to call up my homies. Call beads plus one. Holy shit. Oh. That just straight up gave me a call oh. bead. Which I had 11 of to begin with. Okay, so um, who can teleport me? Time warp seems like it might be the thing that I want to do. Shockwave shield. KJY, play. what do you know about the optional boss in this game? Maybe it's disrupt. Oh wow, ouch, you two could never break up. The world would implode! I mean, so be it. I mean, sometimes these things have to happen. Let's go. Oh, let's do the time warp again, says Sean Robinson. You know what? That sounds... You know, because you suggested it, I'm gonna do it. Ah, I probably shouldn't have done that shit. Did I stop all of the enemies? This is amazing. Nothing happened. I do like how obnoxiously strong you get in this game by the end of it. It's like you get here and you're doing like 2,000 damage to stuff. Yeah, I just hit somebody for like 1,700 and I didn't even charge up. Actually, I don't know if you can charge up the, uh, the bazooka. Now that I think about it, I didn't try. That's definitely one thing that really gets on my nerves in this game, where it's like, okay, I got this new weapon up to level one. Oh, here's a new weapon, so now I gotta level that one up. Oops. How do I go down this, uh, here we go. Okay, so KJY is telling us what to do, because he's great. Just go back to those plants. At A4, you can switch your spells and get energized. A1 oh, is where you're supposed to go, 
But you want energize first. Okay, so, 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 so. Where can I switch up my spells? Let's look around here. Okay. Also, did you get me any more cool weapons? No, just a bunch of ammo for... Well, you got the neutron blade. I don't know if you were there for that. I remember that. I remember okay, seeing so that. You got it for me. Never mind. Um, I might have. Yeah, I think I did. Okay, and so apparently I can switch up my spells here, and I want to find Energize. I'm really going to shoot a mosquito with a bazooka, or whack him with it, or miss him. Just entirely miss him. All of those seem appropriate to me. This is a terrible place to be wearing sunglasses. What's this? You're good. Here's another energy beam. Should I jump I into that? Yeah, I don't think you'll get vaporized. A1 is where you're supposed to go. Okay, but you want energize for me. So energize is here someplace. I don't know how. Oh, I you missed it. a weapon in spell in Tinker's lab. You can go back, but you'll probably never use them. I mean, I won't, but thank you. <laughs> so, okay, so let's try to find A1, like the steak sauce. Being Freddy Fazbear, this stream will probably be like, I don't know, an hour, hour and a half. Like, if if we wanted to, we could go, like, straight to the final boss now. I mean, it's still going to take me a second because I feel like I don't know where I'm going. Well, yeah, that too. But if you were to, like, just so happen... Because, yeah, you, you don't know where it is. I know where it is. Well, I don't know, but, like, if I were to see the, the area, I'd be like, that's it. Okay, so do that when that happens. Okay, I will. It's probably A1, like KJY said. Use the call up till you run out of ingredients. Rip mosquito. Okay, this is A3. Place. A2. Wait, I feel like I'm getting close. Fuck this guy. This is a little 2716. <laughs> the world won't even. Still alive. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Thousand bucks. I was impressed with how hard I hit him, but I should have been impressed with how hard he survived me hitting him. Um, this might be where the optional boss is. Is Did that I how you get energized? Did I seriously miss that guy? Stop by A4 really quick to swap out your spell. Oh, oh, stop by A4. Right, 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 right. Okay, so let's go to the... And then a hop to the right or something is the lyric. I don't remember. I couldn't tell you. I'm you know what it's from, different. though, right? If you don't, people will yell at you because it's some arbitrary thing that you have I'll to have seen. I'll just pretend that I know and keep drinking. It's from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, I've never actually seen it, other than, like, I know that, like, Adrian Street is a thing. Um, and that's okay that you haven't seen it. You know, nobody's gonna judge you that hard here, except for maybe Sean Robinson. Okay, so here's A4. I'm, like, so, as musically crippled as I am, I just don't watch movies. There's so many, like, big-time movies that I haven't seen. Name two. The key is to... The key to entering the chamber is the energy core. Take you to the junkyard sector, activate the transport tube. Okay, so that's probably where I'm going now. Let's unequip some spells. I don't need... Actually, I don't know what yeah, I, don't I don't need. I don't even know what we have equipped now. Alright, I'll tell you. Barrier. Call up. Okay, okay I see what there you're saying totally now. a part in the last episode where I had to go back to, like, that that old-timey kingdom, and I was worried that I would be leaving you there. And it <laughs> ended up not being, like, that long. Because it's like, okay, go to that checkerboard place. Go to the secret area where you have to throw, like, that bomb pyramid thing somewhere else. Like, that tiny through. But it ended up not being that big of a deal. Yeah, so I fought a... I fought tiny. Like, there was some boss fight against him where, like, basically you're supposed to just take the portals in the correct order. Oh, that was so annoying. I was there for, like, I don't know, 20 minutes myself. Yeah? That took me too long to figure out as well. Um, okay, so I that see what you're saying, KJY. I used up all of the call-up spell so that I could unequip it and... Oh, I get you. And equip Energize. Energize target hero's oh, attack. Haven't. Oh, Jesus. I might have gotten that one. I will record my progress. Let's save over this file. Because we were only level 21 there. Okay, so now we got to go back to A1. Like the sauce. Did he heal me fully? Did I get healed somehow? Uh, you're, well, you're healed fully, so maybe. 
Shit! I took 26! What's max level in this game? Like 50? Fuck him up, dog. What is up, dog? People always make that joke it's, around uh, me. It's a yoga position, up dog. Do you know what <laughs> Denver dog is? Yeah, I've never... That's actually a, a great response. I've never heard that one. Did you make that up? No, that's that's like a shoot. I'm, I'm using wrestling jargon. That's an actual, like, yoga position, up dog and down dog. I think up dog is more commonly known as cobra, if I remember correctly. I yeah, but it's... so into yoga. Upward and downward dog, okay. What was the thing yeah. that you were going to say before you said, wait, that's jargon? Um... Pretty much that, because I was saying, like, that's shoot, a re a, like a yoga position. Because, like, shoot means for real, basically, in wrestling talk. <laughs> okay. Well, Every shoot, so I can't I'll get into this. There we go. Wrestling jargon and, like, real life conversations, and I'm like, wait a second. This person probably has no clue what I'm talking about. Okay, KJY says Energize doesn't work with a bazooka, but it's still amazing for the dog. I think you mean oh, Quilty. Right. Or is that one monoxide? Okay, so I'm in A1 right now, and you're fucking right. Like, I'm not... I'm not losing any bullets. I don't understand why that's happening, but I'll take it. Yeah, likewise. No, I don't shoot know if this it's thing. just a glitch, like a typical glitch, or just something we managed to stumble across, but I'm fine with it. Do I have the ingredients for Energize? That's a great question. Yeah, I, also, I have a couple. Also, for the record, when I gave you the bazooka with no ammunition, it came with one because I used it to help kill what I would consider the hardest boss in the game, the Verminator. Oh, yes. Well, by all means, uh, you are welcome to use the one bullet. This is the place. This is where the the final portal is. Will I know it when I see it? It's, it's pretty obviously like step on this when you get to it. All right. I mean, I want to step on a lot of things around here. Oh, you can also step on this. It. You also missed the, uh, well, I'm guessing, maybe you didn't miss it, but Cecil from Final Fantasy IV has a cameo appearance in this. Oh, for real? Yeah, like, uh, right before, he's the one who gave me the bazooka. Is it this? But he also sells his <gasps> shit. I think I did a thing. Would you like I for me to record? To yeah, there you go. Also, I, I already appreciate how much easier um, it is to communicate over lower latency. Um, I hope yeah, the stream. Yeah, definitely way better. I hope the stream isn't skipping because of that. Oh, it hasn't been for me at all. It's been going seamlessly. I should actually give that a try. It's like, hey, you can actually like respond like in real time. Go figure. What are these? I'm gonna shoot him. Yeah, this is the final boss rush right now. This is where it starts. This is just a bunch of grenades getting thrown out. You gotta fuck up the fans that are up These? Top. Oh, I see that now, okay. Yeah. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty oh, sure like the final part of this boss rush, if you, go, if you nuzzle like in the top left corner, the boss can't even hit you and you can just fuck him up with the bazooka. Oh, for real? If I remember correctly, yes. <laughs> I just heard myself over your um, audio, I think. And it was beautiful. Oh. Well, maybe I... Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah, you would have heard I... it over the Discord, probably. I don't know why there are so many... Um... Oh, wait. I, I can clearly stand in front of the place where there is no fan. That makes good sense. But so far, I don't quite understand the point of this boss. Hey, wait a second. I should heal myself, though. Eat up time, I guess. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to energize my dog. Heal. Yeah, healing might not be a bad idea. I and think then... you've got this boss battle in the bag, but at the same time, you know, you don't you don't want to have to do this again. I have a feeling Holy we're like shit. such a low level right now, even though do we're you... doing like 27,000 damage, 1000, 2700 damage to some enemy. I don't know if you see this hard, but do you see what Ener energize is doing for me? I missed it. I was too busy look at, rambling. Look at my bar. Look at my um, limit meter. Holy shit. <laughs> what That's the insane. fuck? <laughs> ah, I feel How so fucking powerful. Hey, don't, hey, kid, don't get hit by those explosions. All right, so, so far, this is a weird part of the what I assume is the final battle. Yeah, this, this is act one, as it were. 
It's just the first part of it. Just a bunch of fans. Did I kill them all? I think so. I mean... Oh, there's switches, I guess. I don't see them, but... I guess the Oh, where the fans were. Maybe you need to be the... Maybe you gotta be, uh... Monoxide. Oh, oh, I see what you're talking about. Okay, cool. I'm gonna leave that. La yeah, here we go. I'm gonna skip one. <gasps> Yo, look at this fucking Jumbotron. This is amazing. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> uh, I don't know what those diagnostics are of. But there are dinosaurs here. Now we get Obviously. To see, revisit stuff we've already encountered. I don't think we have to actually fight another bug, though. I'm fucking these dudes up! I mean, it's really my dog. Um, Team effort. And just, I'm gonna be extra safe in, like, nothing! I'm gonna heal as often as possible. I'm just gonna be extra safe with my HP, everybody. What is this thing? Should uh, I have yeah, shot those... that? I forget if you're supposed to kill those sweeper robots, like those Zumba th I always call them Zumbas. Zumba? Zumba things. That's, That's a good like word for it. That's like the workout dance thing, I always, but I always think it's those self- Vacuuming robots. I know what that is. That's Roombas, but I always call them Zumbas. Zumba is like strangely popular in New Orleans. Is that right? Yeah. Here I mean, I saw like... a lot of advertisements for it. Okay. Because here it's it's a thing, but it's not like huge or anything. I mean, as was Jazzer size, because you know New Orleans is a big jazz city. That makes sense. In fact, the Utah Jazz used to be the New Orleans Jazz. Anywhere here. What's that? Shoot fans, hit switches. Thanks to the depressed ER. What would I do without you? I'd probably shoot switches and hit fans. It's good like meta world good peace. To good okay. rules to live by. <laughs> Sorry, I made a bad reference. Went over my head. Um, meta world peace, also known as Ron Artest, was uh an NBA player for, among other teams, I think the Denver Nuggets and the okay. and the Los, Lang Los Angeles Lakers. And he literally hit a fan uh, in an event oh. known as Malice at the Palace, where like a brawl broke out between <laughs> the players and the fans. Do you mean so. it was called Malice at the Palace after the fact? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, because I'm thinking if, if they're going into it calling it that, then what do you expect? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds like a, like, a SummerSlam, like, wrestling kind of event. Totally. Bash at the beach. Also, that reminds me, when are you ever gonna stream NBA Jam? Dude, That's whenever you right want. Oh shit, I should heal. Um, I should heal. Just seems like that'd be a perfect fit for you. You're right, it would. All right, I'm gonna use a whole bunch of spells here. Well, I mean, you can't take them with you, so might as well. We they are damaging me, like, at a, you know, an uncomfortably fast pace, but it's nothing I can't quite handle. Why are you slapping with the bazooka, you idiot? Oh, it works. Never mind. <laughs> you had to deal with them going side to side. Now it's three-dimensional. Oh, you're we right. I guess something like that earlier. I think this is a pallet swap. I want to shoot this dude. I killed him. Was that guy important? Perfect. Take that, you fucking Roomba. Should I not have killed him? I don't think it matters. Clone battle? That's all right. I got to do <laughs> That was oh, no. absolutely <laughs> underwhelming. Okay, this yeah. guy's going to be a pain in the Kill ass. Kill your so. clone. It makes me wonder if the clone has the same hit points as you, at which point, why bother? I could never kill my dog. Nothing. Uh, what, what are you, a monster? I have an idea. Since this guy's hard to hit, I'm gonna use explosion. That actually helped uh, stop him, which was not the original intention, but now it is. Perfect. Yeah, this low latency is definitely way better than it was for like the Final Fantasy V finale. I agree, and for that one episode of Chrono Trigger that we did. Oh yeah, I forgot. To, I forgot that was the thing. I didn't. It was special to me. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I just remember doing, and I'm like, "Fuck! I should add some drinks," because I felt like I was kind of 
like low energy that day. That's totally fine. I also like a big part of it was like we kept stepping on each other's sentences because like you know, because of lag, I'm guessing. Is this guy immortal? That would be a great plot twist actually. It would be. Dark I'm trying so hard to not talk over you, even though I kind of just did. It's fine. I'm shouting, we're all having fun, and it's a great time. Press 1 in the comments, everybody. Alright. I want it. <laughs> How did he dodge that bullet? Get back here, you tricky dog. Oh, yeah, Alright, I think I will stop him with explosion. I don't even see how much damage explosion did, but it helped me shoot him. So... Thanks for all the ingredients! <laughs> Someone said 69. I knew it would happen. I see you depressed, Eeyore. The number follows you around. It blows my mind. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I know you're not doing it on purpose. It's like when you wandered into my Dragon Quest XI stream and you're like, full house with sixes and nines or whatever you said, and then it happened. I remember that. It's like, what the fuck? How do you do that? That was pretty uh, impressive, in my opinion. I agree. Oh shit, this dude's got 86 HP. I should have noticed that earlier. Did I not just heal myself? Alright, I'll keep him at bay. You just, you just feel better. I might have just double cast it there. Oops, I energized him, which, uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's give him, like, a spear or some shit. Oh, man. I know his bronze spear has, like, level... Yeah, something like that. Level one! Do it, son! I'm gonna throw them say, spears. I don't even know what has levels now. <laughs> it's not that good! I don't know... What is that thing? Oh, it's, uh... Maybe you didn't fight it. Oh, shit, I just got hit for 209. Um... That was one of the bosses in, um... The first world. I think I killed it, come to think of it. You might have. I mean, you clearly didn't, because he's still alive, but... Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I forget, so you've never, like... You've never made it this far in the game, obviously, but have you, like, played it at all? I forget. Um... I played it through, uh, let's see. I don't think I ever got to the part with the poodle. Oh, okay. <laughs> fuck him up! That's not me mashing the B button like that. That's actually really helpful that he's, like, basically stunning him in place with these one damage attacks. Yeah, it's, go figure. I wouldn't have thought, but... He's so goddamn energized? Clearly so. <gasps> he's making the room squiggle. Uh, I mean, that also hurt stuff. pretty well. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to heal myself. It's like hard to open the menu. I'm to so get, like, close. 70 odd healing spells. Um, okay, so like energize is absolutely the best spell. Yes, KJY, you are correct. Heal wave. Oh, thank you. Energize is worn off. On whom? Probably on Monoxide. No, it was... it was at least also Quilty. I hope you appreciated those names. I, I did, yeah, them. those those are great. I just kind of pulled them out of my ass. I'm like, alright, uh, Monoxide, whatever the dog's name is, that's the end of the Y. Uh, <laughs> I was Quilty. wondering... you're right, no, that's an appropriate call. I was wondering, um, what the inspiration behind them was, or if there was none. Yes, heal is now level 6. Not only did I level up, but I leveled up my heal spell. Nice. I leveled up them heals, girl. Please block for me. Oh my gosh, this is obnoxious that I just cannot get a hit in. And that's like, that's pretty much been combat this entire game, is that it's hard for you to move, which is frustrating. Yeah. Then, it happens again. Like, I really feel I, like... like... What are you I gonna say? I don't dislike this game maybe as much as I should, but there's definitely <laughs> some frustrating parts in it. I can appreciate the story. I think it's like okay, <clears throat> and a lot of that, you know, a lot of a lot of my frustration has to do with the fact that this is a fucking SquareSoft game. What? Understandable. Because they made such great. This is the final boss right here. This is the last guy. Okay, so 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 so. Like you were saying, I can run to the corner. The top left corner. I'm pretty sure he can't hit you. All right. Doesn't really look like it. I'm just gonna have my dog hit him. 
I'm gonna sit here and do nothing like I'm Luigi in Mario Party. Perfect. I see that this GG. thing is <laughs> supposed to have a face. Like an eye patch. I don't know or if you know this, but this is... I don't know if you know this, but this is the butler. The butler did it. Um, aka Carltron? Yes. Okay, I guess I have to switch to Quilty because um, he's not really doing shit right now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Did you see that? I got down to 11 no. HP. Oh Jesus, I just saw it. Cause I switched and my computer, um, my AI was being an asshole. It does that. He's not doing cool. a lot of explosions. Those explosions can one-shot you, okay. Um. I'm so glad you like mentioned that. that, because I'll stay away and use a bazooka. Yeah, this might be the time. Bam. Okay, I'm still doing like, like 500. Fast, like, double and a half stronger than the rest of the bazooka shots, but I'll take it. I see that, yeah. Uh, KJY oh. saying, try Horus's aura from a call beat if things get too dangerous. Because he's like my previous comment, and then I read one. Then I'm like, well, I'll go back another comment. I mean, at this point, I, I just didn't realize that my, um, that if I so hit select to, to switch to Quilty, that Monoxide would just, like, walk up and be like, Dude, what's this fire? <laughs> I mean, even though he's a robot toaster dog, he's, uh... Doesn't got a lot of... There, you did it. You beat the game. We beat the game, everybody. GG. Who's this? <laughs> I don't uh, remember yeah. any of the plot. You're going to pay for this, filthy human. Uh, he's actually a robot dog. Thank you. Not so fast, metal head. Ooh, no, losing power. Oh, there was a switch behind him. Ha ha ha. It's just like the clumsy robot in Earthbound or um, Metaton in Undertale. Oh, and then he vaporized him. Did you ever do the genocide run in Undertale? I did. I didn't make a series of that, but I should have. Okay, just wondering. Because I just did that recently, and it's like, fuck, that was hard. What's going to happen to Evermore now? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Explosions in five. It was Carltron's influence that created the evil elements on Evermore. Now he's unplugged. I would suspect that those elements should be going away. I didn't mean five seconds. I meant five minutes, obviously. I'll virtually put you into the scene with the Projectomatic Zaptron Simulator. That sounds funkadelic and sexy, like an Outcast album. Data from TNG, oddly enough, has an off switch. Is it data or data? I definitely remember seeing the episode where, like, he spe specifically tells somebody, like, no, fuck off, it's data, you know? Yo, explosions, I was right! Game is so predictable. But like, we're, we're, we're in like the final section here. What you think we should go off like a final verdict of this game? Yeah, you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah, because like for me, I have a few thoughts about this game. First off, you know how they had like that Secret of Mana remake and how it was like pretty well panned by most people? Was it? I heard it was like disappointing. Yeah, like, it's a, a lot of people didn't really care for it. But, like, what I think they should have done was make a Secret of Evermore remake first. So then they take the feedback from that and be like, okay, let's make a, a proper Secret of Mana remake. Yeah. Because I feel like if they were to tweak this game somewhat, it could be really good. It looks As like it the big battle right scene now, in Monster Quake down, down there. Wait, I didn't mean to say a line over you. Okay, keep talking. I'll shut up. Yeah. Okay. No, I just noticed there was uh, stuff being said, but <laughs> that's just but yeah, part I feel of this. Like they, this. This game is like there's definitely room for improvement. I think we can both agree on that. Uh huh. So like, if they had decided to dedicate the remake to this and like any mistakes they made for that, they could have done the Secret of Mana remake justice. Because like for starters, make it so we can just each weapon type you level up rather than each individual weapon that's oh my god tedious. yes every time you get a new weapon you have to start from scratch even though you learned how to throw a spear really well once you get a new spear it's like how do i throw spears yeah and you get then so like, many weapons know, so often that leveling of... them up is useless or or using the new weapon is useless because you can't throw it or power it up you know what yeah. i mean 
that's really like bothered me, says Ninja Ninja. Ninja. I give up trying to but improve I feel weapons. Like they really nailed the atmosphere of the game. <clears throat> um, like... yeah, I do. I it's it's a cool concept because I appreciate going to different eras and it's like oh history and shit, and that's genuinely dope. But well, like at the same time, it feels like they were trying to like you know how there's like B movies. I feel like they're trying to make this like a B game. But it just didn't quite connect. I, I'll agree to that. I mean, yeah, they're like, it's supposed to be funny that like, haha, this character, am I right? Oh, he's thinking about movies, and he sucks. The main character in this game sucks. Like, yes. okay, it's some kid with obnoxious hair and a weird vest. I get it. It's like the uh, 60s, 80s, or whatever. Um right. And it's, like, this quirk that he has that he keeps mentioning these movies. But first of all, like, the titles aren't that funny. And, like, him mentioning a movie that he had seen at some point in his life isn't funny unless it's somehow relatable to the character or, like, I don't know. Or even, the... like, a real-life movie or at least close enough to it where, you know, like, Fire Wars or something. Like, you know they're talking about something real that you can actually connect to rather or, than just something fabricated you can't connect to it all or if the punchline is something funny other than haha he's making a reference to something right anyway I don't give a fuck about these characters so <laughs> I'm not gonna read what they're saying um but yeah apparently Evermore is being destroyed so what was the other thing that we were complaining about earlier? Oh yeah, there are so many mazes in this game where it's just like, yeah. hey, there's a big ass map and you can easily get way lost because it all looks the goddamn same. And the enemies yeah, in this maze, anonymous. and the enemies in this maze are like, you can kill them in one hit, but they're really fucking hard to hit and they don't give you much experience and it's just super annoying and like combat again is unsatisfying and frustrating in this game, so we're just gonna extend this maze to make it like an hour long. I know both times I was in the pyramids, I was getting so mad about it. Hi, like, Cat I'm Lovers Anonymous. To Sorry to interrupt you, but there's somebody named Cat Lovers Anonymous yeah. in my chat right now, so I have to acknowledge this person. Welcome to the stream. We're talking about how much this game sucks. <laughs> and Kaboom and stuff. How are you as well? Cat Lovers Anonymous, thanks for joining. I came here just in time for Karma to complain. No, you didn't. You came here just in time for Karma and Mega Harp to complain. <laughs> so we have like nude people up in the sky. That's what the black boxes are about. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's actually I didn't have a complaint about that. I didn't have a complaint about that part of the game. It doesn't happen as you probably presume normally. It's just like an emulator glitch. Yeah, I imagine it's ZSNES. Um, and while I'm at it, I should mention that, like, I remember old, old, old versions of ZSNES could not handle, like, wind sound effects in, uh, Squaresoft RPGs like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy 3 slash 6. I never knew that. So, like, instead of just being this weird, like, kind of, like, like, like a cat screaming, like, it was, like, actually it had, like, a weird wailing tone, like, whoa, and it was like laughably bad, but I still played those games because they were great. Oh yeah, you're welcome, everybody. That I was, was my impression. To, I was always fortunate enough to have them for console, but when I finally played them for my channel, I used for Chrono Trigger. I used the PS1 disc, and for Final Fantasy VI, I used the, the Visual Boy Advance emulator. Visual Boy Advance. Oh yeah, I used that for um. Fire Emblem for a video. hot minute, I think. <laughs> Look at the skies completely blacked out. Yeah. The nude orgy going on up there, they can't show it. Okay, and and in all fairness, I should say that like part of the part of the the strong part of this game is that the story is okay. But I'm absolutely not paying attention to this ending, so I'm I cannot give it a fair assessment. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> them just be like, oh my god, let's not die with this world. Let's go back to real life. Okay, yeah, now that you mention it, I caught that part, and it seems like that's all they've been talking about for the past few minutes is, hey, by the way, I don't know if you noticed the explosions, but we should get out of here. Um, 
Also, it, we should absolutely mention that we played this entire game in alternating segments, so I right. completely didn't get the whole plot. Yeah, totally. Like, I kind of knew what I was getting into. But, like, I didn't remember the game, like, super well. There is one, I think it was where I left you with Tiny. I just, like, wandered around aimlessly for, like, half the episode. And someone's like, dude, go to the pyramid. And I'm like, no, you're, you're thinking that I'm somewhere else. I was like, oh. Then I looked up a walkthrough, and I'm like, oh, you're right. <laughs> yeah, don't you hate it when other people are right? Yeah, especially when you think you're right. That's the worst. I've learned to stop doing that as much. Like, I used to do that way more often in high school because I thought I was so much smarter than I really was. Right. And I was, right. you know, pretty smart. But then again, I also went to a high school where, like, everybody was a fucking genius, you know? Um, oh, okay. So... So, yeah, that's me doing a humble brag right there. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey, let's get electrocuted Throw because life is meaningless and I hate being here. Where is Monoxide? By the way, Harf, I don't know if you noticed, I know you're not on Instagram much. I know you, like, kind of tried it to promote your channel and then decided that it wasn't worth it. I First, actually just posted a speedy picture, like, two days ago. I saw that. So, like, I saw that. And I was yeah. like, oh, yeah, this guy, it's been a while. It's just like, oh, yeah, Instagram's a thing. It just somehow turned on my phone. I don't know how. I'm like, well, I have all these pictures. I should at least post one of them. Forget about the cat. We've got to go back to Podunk. Um, Sorry to cut you off. What about Instagram? I was going to say that, like, a lot of times I'll just, like, upload a screenshot from one of my YouTube videos and be like, hey, you know, um, I have a YouTube channel, by the way, but, like, this game's cool. You guys should follow me. And, like, I've got, like, six, probably 630 followers on Instagram, and it's, like, slowly nice. going up. Um, but I love to take screenshots of our tag team live stream and use Sweet. the hashtag tag team live stream. I encourage anyone else on Instagram to do the same thing, like take a screenshot of a goofy part, or like, you know, a part that you liked of one of our tag team live stream series, and post that shit, <clears throat> and then, you yeah. know, use the tag team, or the hashtag tag team live stream. Yeah, Did I, I just totally do that too. Did he just walk into a parking meter? I think we've got our answer. The Secret of Evermore was the name of the movie that was playing. Oh my, plot twist. Oh, we're safe in something. That was a close call, Bead. It certainly was. Bye, everyone. Hope I never have to talk to you again. I'm not... I'm not stupid. Everyone else is a genius, Karma Jolt 2018. Yeah, that's my quote, Kaboom and stuff. The main character now thinks this whole thing was just a dream. <sighs> yeah, okay, I sort of got a hint of that, which is the worst fucking plot device. Yeah, especially because it's not a dream, because they're all like, so what will happen to Evermore? Like, they're all, what, they have a joint dream? I don't know, but one of the names at the bottom said Rick Ryan, and I totally thought it said Alan Rickman for some reason, and uh, I was like, holy shit. I used to know a Rick Ryan. I, was, I don't think it was the same guy. Probably not. But yeah, we were just we were just talking about uh, I hate just a dream ending says Kaboom and stuff. We were just talking about this because I yeah. I was I guess I mentioned this while I was streaming um, Final Fantasy Jeez. VII, but I just recently watched Total Recall, and okay. if if the ending to that movie really was like oh it was all just a dream, then fuck that movie. Otherwise, it's great with the bad acting at all. See you at the party, Richter. That's like such an awesome line. I saw, like, maybe part of the remake. I don't think I ever actually watched the original. Oh, yeah, there was a remake. We were talking about that. Dang, I got here during the credits, says Vile mk 69 z Hey, Vile. Well, still glad you showed up. Yeah, this was destined kinda, to be a real short episode. We kind of powered through this a little faster than I thought because we went straight to the final boss. I'm thinking maybe we'll make a detour into the optional one, but it's like, yeah, we're in the final boss, fuck or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, not really I mean, missing much. I'll, let me just explain the whole deal. Like, there's there's some part where you have to flip on like power sources for like where I left you in the greenhouse. But there's an area where it's like, okay, pick these three numbers. Every given game, the numbers are different. So if it's between one, two, and three, so if you do all the combinations, eventually a secret door will open. 
Then there's like this secret thing you can fight that like pops out of TVs and stuff. I don't think you get anything too special for it, and it's not overly difficult. But it's something that not a lot of people know about that's played this game. Huh. Because I don't think there's any hints in the game about it. Special thanks to our families. I love that earlier in the credits it was like, you know, here's our development team, and then it lists and many more at the bottom, and it's like, you just screwed those people out of their yeah. names in the credits. I guess maybe they are like, don't put my name on this piece of trash. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Y'all gotta get every ending, says Inked Freddy. <laughs> yeah, all one endings. We did it. <laughs> so now that people from the other worlds are stuck behind curtains showing off like crazy weirdos at a carnival, hell yeah. Um, hey, let's talk about something. Okay. And I'm gonna ask you this question as if I don't already know the answer and I'll act surprised when you tell me. What, um, what do we, what do we want to play for our next tag team live stream? Alright, well I know what, what I want to play for the next tag team live stream is Illusion of Gaia. I accept. So, uh, Fine. Okay. Um, yeah, you're, you're all right with that, kind of. Look, it doesn't matter because I picked the last two games. I was right. like pushy and drunk, and I was like, "No, let's do Secret of Evermore. It's great." And then I regretted it. Yeah. So it's your and turn. Like, and I was like, "Okay, I've played through Secret of Evermore. It's not like I won't be blindly screwing around so much." Boy, was I wrong about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there was definitely one episode where I like. I had to climb a mountain, right? Um, and I okay. had to find, like, these geysers on the ground that you step on them, they launch you up. And oh, just yeah, thinking yeah. about it, I hate that fucking animation where he's like, whoa, I'm gonna flee on my arms because this is so comical. <laughs> but, like, one of the geysers was under some shrubbery that you had to cut with the axe. Oh, okay. Which had never that. been a thing up until then, I don't think. Or maybe it was for you, but I... I don't think it was for me. That took me, like, 20 minutes. I'm glad I didn't have to do that, because I probably wouldn't have put it together either. Whoa, the mic is randomly loud. Are you talking about mine, Kaboom, and stuff? Did I get louder for no reason? And then uh, also, like that Salabog boss, he can go fuck himself. Oh yeah, that guy was annoying. Hey guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Yeah, thanks, ViolMK69Z. Yeah, make, make sweet, sweet love to that like button. <gasps> needs, needs some love. Oh hey, like after the credits Easter egg. You again? That's a good robot, Carl Tron. Dust, 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 clean, clean. I added an extra dust in there. Is he saying that, or is that just what he's doing? He's saying that. He's gonna turn around and there's gonna be a gleam in his eye. Like every cheesy fucking movie. Where, like, the villain, you think he's dead, and then suddenly he opens his eyes. I'll be disappointed if he doesn't. <clears throat> The end? Question mark? Oh my god, that uh, was yes, awful. Yes, the, the end. Did I yeah. call that or what? Did I call the end question mark or what? I mean, this game's a little predictable when it comes to, like, movie tropes. Oh, Ninja Ninja. Okay, I didn't know that my mic was randomly getting louder and shit. Uh, but I, thanks I for the heads up. I, I couldn't tell, personally. Um... Okay. So yeah. so yeah, it's my turn to push for Illusion to Gaia, so I hope you don't hate it like a whole bunch. Have you I mean, ever beaten it or anything? Look, as much as I hated this game and made it for some great YouTube, some excellent content, don't end the stream. I could talk about some bullshit for a really long time if you want. Oh, yeah, we, Fazbear. we can shoot the shit for a bit. Like, I have nowhere to be, really. So. Yeah, so how are you? What happens if I do anything? Nothing? Uh, I want to say nothing. Yeah, this is going to play the intro over and over again. Oh. This opening makes it look... Actually, it makes it look a lot like Secret of Mana. Like, yo, there's a fortress, yeah. and we're going to have to... It's going to be big and daunting and scary, and it's just the Mana Fortress. They could... I just find this game frustrating in that it was... It had so much potential, but it just doesn't quite hit it. It gets, like, maybe 60% of that potential, being generous. It could have been amazing, kind of but there were too many mazes. Yeah, the mazes were a, a bit <clears> too much. Because there was, I can't remember if I was saying on the stream, but there was that one stream where I was in the, like that medieval old ta old timey town where I'm just the dog. And I'm just wandering through this maze for like 45 minutes. 
And I'm like, I'm not looking up a walkthrough. Fuck off. Mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just, you're going to suffer. I for I'm not going to figure out how to get through. I for sure used a map at some point in like a forest maze because everything looked pretty much identical. Oh my god, I forgot about that forest maze, you poor bastard. <laughs> Peter Fries? That guy's last name was Fries. That's awesome. How did you get to this area with 30 HP? Let's talk into the. I don't remember if there's any, any other bullshit that I did that you wouldn't even know the difference. Like other oh, yeah. than that thing I just said, and the Verminator, he's an asshole, but uh, I think otherwise. I gotta. I remember there was one part that was like, as soon as we got to the second world, you're supposed to switch to the dog and like jump over this bridge, and it's not totally obvious. And like, I'm I'm not sure if you would have clued into that or not at the time. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have because. When was this game made? I want to say ninety. I think it said 95 on the... T It'll say it right up here. But I should make a playlist of this and watch it all the way through just to see what kind of frustrations you ran into. Yeah, likewise. It's mostly me raging during the pyramid. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think I got too ragey outside of that, but I, I could be forgetting it. When did we start this? Like, fuck, it's been a while now. Yeah, it was a while ago, and that was... It, it, I took some breaks. That was mostly my fault. I um, mean, it happened. Because, yeah. like, what, in the middle of Final Fantasy V? Like, you were doing, you know, all this self shit, like, moving. <laughs> Sorry about how that, yeah. How, how dare you try to better yourself? And then I had to do one of the episodes of the Tag Team live stream, not live. That I remember was that. literally the worst one to not do live. <laughs> I mean, I should have known that you'd put me in a Gil Turtle battle at some point. Did, wait, oh, yeah, you went I, back I and beat that guy, though, right? All pleasant to you in that one. I'm mostly not sorry about it. The only part I actually feel bad about was when you gave me 99 elixirs, then the next time you start up was a battle where you it was a back attack and you had no weapons. <laughs> I'm like, I, I didn't actually mean to do that. I don't even <laughs> remember that. Rules, so. Hey, Chris, how you doing? <clears throat> CG29, what's up? What's going on, CG29? Welcome to the channel. We beat the game, so we're just kind of hanging out for a minute. Yeah. Um, I also remember my brother sent me a screenshot where, like, you had four thieves, and I think because, like, I got, like, I got frustrated oh, that you always yeah. left me with thieves, right? So I was right. like, fuck it, I'll give him four. And somehow right. you ended up winning a battle where yeah, you had one HP left on, and that's, with Lena, and everyone else was dead. That's right. It was just bullshit luck. Spanish to squeak it through. Heck yes. Okay, kind of forgot about it, but that was... Kind of, kind of a decent ass pull that one. I remember my brother yeah, and his friends saying you can tell this game was made by Americans. You definitely can. I mean, I don't know if I would have been able to tell that back in 1995, because I was. 95. I wouldn't have known the difference. Oh, but, nowadays, but also these names that, make it like... pretty obvious. Yeah. All You're right. Talking about the crystals, kaboom, and stuff. I think I just... that was like, that's why, because there was there was some deal with the crystals where, for whatever reason, it healed more damage than I could do to it. So I was just kind of fucked. So I'm like, all right. So last save point. I'm glad we ended the game with six rice and five spice. That's nice. That rhymed. Yes. We needed those. Oh, you're actually checking your stuff right now. Yeah, just to see what oh. kind of trinkets we downloaded. What's the word I'm looking for? Acquired. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder how much we're missing. Probably all of it. I bet you could fill this Absolutely. screen up. Magic defense increased. Okay, we got magic defense, a little bit of evade. I sort of looked up a wa um. It is I, Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Where, why, Yoshimitsu, excuse Get me. Get out of my channel, noob. Who's photobombing the, the stream? Had enough? Not photobombing, but you know what I mean. I know what you meant. So yeah, I looked up um, uh, like Mike's RPG Center or some shit just to see what these items did. Okay. And the Thug's Cloak gives you like 3% evade and it's like not even really worth it. Yeah. But it was cheap, so maybe it was worth it. I mean, it's you may as well have it than not have it, but to go out of your way for it, it's like, yeah, whatever. I'll dodge four attacks all game. 
And this gives you like 45 HP or some shit. That's all right. So I remember I was going to not get the chocobo egg for some reason. Then I just went ahead and got it. It was some spite driven thing, but I was like, eh, I'll just grab it. Yeah, I think, um, I think I left an episode off where like, I was like just about to get it, and I was like, okay, I need two more things to get this, and I know where they are. And then my timer went off. Did I forget now? I'm gonna have to watch the whole thing. So then I'll actually have some context for what, what happened. Oh, I just used up all my ingredients for that, okay. Oh no, you need ingredients. So like, Energize is just absolutely the best spell in the game, and it's super cheap to cast? Apparently so. Like, I what is that? I realized how busted that was. They'd be like, so 100% equip it. Do you guys play the pianos? I haven't played the piano in like 25 years. I had piano lessons when I was really little. Then I just never went back to it. Are you talking about in Final Fantasy V, Kaboom and stuff? Oh, in which case, I think we were a piano master, weren't we? Um, yeah, you I learn like that. a song for that, huh? I think we did. I tried to play the pianos when I saw them. We definitely didn't get all the blue magic, which is which is actually kind of easy to do. Like I accidentally did that when I was playing it on PlayStation by myself. Yeah. I was like, oh, I only need There's some of them. You can get like a little earlier than is intended, but for the most part, as long as you have a blue mage out, you're probably good. Man, yeah, I wish it's there was like. I wish there was like cool shit to talk about in this series. Like, like I remember in Final Fantasy V, like there were so many parts of the game where I was like, oh man, when Harv goes back to watch this, he's going to be impressed. <laughs> because like, like for example, you put me in that Biblos fight in the library and like- I can't I, believe you did that the first try. I could not touch that dude, but I was like, well, I'm just gonna use question mark, question mark, question mark, blue magic and deal damage equal to max HP minus current HP. Right. And I just chipped away like a hundred damage at a time. And I was like, fuck, I beat that dude. And then like that other boss with like the plant and he casts old on all your party member pe members. And I'm hitting for like 10 damage. Like, come on, there's no, like, I'm so close to beating this guy. And I like finally clutched it out because I was like, there's no way hitting him with a water attack is going to hurt a plant because plants drink water. But I hit him with a water right. scroll and like cleared the screen and I was like, oh shit, okay. I got super lucky there. There was nothing like that for this game. There were bosses yeah. that were like, he's super hard to hit. Mediously long. Yeah, yeah. It's like a minute between every time you can hit him for like 100 da damage. That'll last 30 fucking minutes. And then other than that, you avoid bugs. And like occasionally heal yourself. So, I mean, though, like all things considered, I I'm kind of surprised how we haven't gotten like so stuck. Like, yeah, I had that one hiccup with the crystals in Final Fantasy V, but like outside of that, we've been doing fairly decently. I want to say. Yeah, I think we did great. Okay, other than that, I ain't really got shit to say. So I'm probably gonna sign off. Uh, and get ready to go play pinball. That sounds great. Uh, yeah. Pinball's a good time. So you start the next tag team live stream whenever you want and send me the save file, and I'll right. play it within the next day or three. All right, do you have like a thumbnail or should I just like makeshift one first and then I'll just update it later? How about I make a thumbnail whenever I get to it and you can put it on retroactively like we did for this series. Sounds good. I kind of wanted to make a thumbnail of every dog once I got to them, but I did not have the time for that shit, and I apologize. Yeah, whatever. I, yes. I don't know how really much of a difference it makes. Yeah, KJ, Illusion of Gaia, I guess, is next. Unless Harv wants to, like, throw a curveball and switch it up without telling me at the last minute. That's uh, that's what I'm pushing for right now. I've been kind of <laughs> hankering to play it for a couple of months now, so... Okay, I don't, I don't want to, like, inception you here and, like, influence your decision at all, but I was pretty sure you were going to say Final Fantasy IV. Like, SNES version? Yeah. That said, if you're, if you, we're not going to do that for Tag Team Livestream, I might stream it myself. Because I have that one I mean, on the machine. I, I mean, I wouldn't be against doing that, like, say, after Illusion of Guy, if you want. Okay, I'll wait on it. But if you... If you get hot and bothered and want to do it, then by all means. <laughs>
I don't know if I'll be bothered. Played, <laughs> but like the Final Fantasy IV I played was the the Steam version, which actually kind of pissed me off. Yeah, that sounds bad. Wait, what what was bad about it? What why did it piss you off? It wasn't so much that it was like for the most part it was fine. It was very resemblant to the DS version, but there's certain parts where it's like, okay, you have to do exactly this thing, or this enemy will just fuck you up. Like, there's red dragons in the final dungeon. If you don't cast Berserk on them, you're fucking dead. Oh. I guess I and don't like, really that remember that. wasn't intuitive to me, and I was getting really pissed off about it. And then the icing on the cake was I beat the game, was watching the credits, then the game crashed. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> fuck you, Final Fantasy IV. See ya. Okay, speaking of fuck you, Final the... Fantasy IV. Wait, what were you gonna say? The... No, I was just saying, like, what? It would be the Super Nintendo version if we're gonna tag team it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, that, but... That'd be great for me. But we'll burn I'll that bridge that when one. we cross it. Yeah, totally. If that's a phrase. But yeah, let's do Illusion of Gaia. But we're definitely, in case anyone's wondering, no, we will not be getting all 50 of the red jewels. In Illusion of Gaia? Great. That's even, a reference I don't get. <laughs> even, that, even if it was just me doing it, I would probably miss them. If Carbajol has no clue what I'm talking about, just forget it. it. Basically, it unlocks a secret level from Soul Blazer, like the first one in the, the trilogy. But, like, you're not missing a lot if you don't do it. Interesting. It's like an optional boss and just an optional area. You don't get any more, like, stats or anything. It's more just for the hell of it. But the only thing I should say about Illusion of Gaia is, like, really try to conserve the herbs. Because oh. if we burn through all the herbs early, we'll be fucked. All right. I... I just have a feeling that you're going to stab me in the back anyway. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll just, we'll see. Okay. On that note, I think I'm going to sign off. Thank you so much, everybody, right. for watching the finale of Secret of Evermore Tag Team live stream. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Thank you so much, Mega Harv. Yeah, thank you for having me. We're two for two for tag team live streams. Yeah, we're undefeated. We haven't lost Correct. a single game. That's right. Uh, yeah, and until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends we're great. See you, folks. Thanks for joining. All right. All right, that was pretty good, except that fucking KJ guy was being super annoying the whole time. <laughs> and kaboom and stuff. Who does he think he is?